Hello everyone, I'm Prachi and today we are going to learn how we can make uh, a cat playing with a ball. So to begin with, we have to make a small circle. Remember that, that we are not supposed to make it a very perfect one. So if you are planning to take any object, circular object, so just cancel that. So just draw with your hands. Make it light, do not press it too hard. And as you think that it's getting better, so you can darkening it. Divide the face into four parts with two um, with two curvy lines, and make the space for the eyes. For the lower, for the back portion of the body, we have to make another circle, which is a little bigger than the face. Remember that and um, that it's a kitten, so we are not supposed to, we shouldn't um, make the uh, circle or the second circle too far from the first one. It is supposed to be a little closer. Just make the rough lines where you want to place the legs and the tail. So this is a rough idea for my drawing where I'm going to place my tail and the legs. So let's work on the face first. Where you have made two circles for the eyes, just make them pointy on the ends. Just keep an eye, do not make them pointy on the opposite sides. Just make it on the right sides. And make a very small circle inside the eyeball. Inside the eyes I mean to say. Which you are not going to darken it. It is. Uh, it will remain white from inside. Keep making many lines to make the eyes specific and more defined. We are making so many small lines because it's a furry cat. So just keep that in mind. The skin, the, the hair, just keep that in mind. So make very small lines. And keep shading according to you, uh, according to your choice, and especially on the in the corners of the eyes, they should be more dark as compared to the central portion of the eyes. Now, in the lower portion, we have to make another circle just to have an idea where we are going to place the nose and the mouth of the kitten so just to place your nose don't forget to make it light because sometimes the best part of drawing in um, with lowest pressure on the pencil is that we can erase it any time any moment you feel that something is wrong with the drawing we can erase it so just do not put a lot of pressure on the pencil we you can do it later and that actually adds to the beauty of your sketches all the sketches i mean place the ears I feel that the ears are a little bigger, so, I'll, so let's make them short. Kittens don't have big ears as they as are just so small and tiny, make their ears so small too. So let's come to the body part. The ears are, again we are going to make very small lines showing outside, but very small lines. Make a couple of lines inside the ears. Define the circle, uh, define the face now. So 
when we uh, uh, work for the legs remember we uh, or the body of the kitten should uh, fall down a little before we start making the legs in the rough sketch i did not make that so as i've told you when you draw light you have the privilege to add uh, i mean to delete any of the lines anytime without leaving the trace marks leaving the dark marks behind it so here i made the body little fall down and then place the legs Keep working on it till you feel it's fine. Like even I draw something, and I if I don't feel like that, it's fine for me. It's it's good enough. So I do keep changing it. This is the leg which is actually on the other side of the body. So, <clears throat> so the muscles are go not going to be, the muscles which attaches the leg with the body is not visible. Now I plan to change the leg again. Just erase all the pencil lines which are not required anymore. Now you can modify your drawing. Just keep shading. You can use a pencil for shading or maybe you can use the stumps or finger. If you have the um, sketching set with you, <clears throat> if you have uh, some 4B pencil or for uh, 6B pencil or any, any pencil you prefer for sketching you can use it in fact you can use your 0.5 pencil too it's not necessary that you should have your pencils uh, sketching set but I have that pencil so I'm just using it but believe me it's not very much important you can use your regular pencil for that too just make it flat Hmm. 
there is a problem with the leg behind too. The leg on the other side should not be visible too much because we are looking the kitten from this angle where we can see only two legs, the muscles of the legs joint with the body. So just keep that in mind. I'm just sketching nothing nothing specific nothing much just defining my ears just making many more sketches so now i'm just placing a ball we can do it later also but if you want to do it right now you can do it When you are sketching and making the lines, just do not uh, forget that we are not supposed to press the pencil very hard. You can use the storms as, as I've said, but it's not it's not the only thing which which can help you to smudge your pencil marks. You can use a very teeny tiny paper from any corner of the page, or you can use your fingers. So you can do smudging from any of the things. But storms are, uh, are really nice. That's what I have experienced. Earlier I used to do with my finger. That worked too. That really worked very nicely earlier. So it's just sometimes I prefer storms. Just make the sketchings and the shading. Uh, remember some lines are going to be more dark. But somewhere it's going to be a little light. The line between the the lines between the eyes are not supposed to be too dark, so I'm just erasing them and making them light. I feel there is some problem in the front. Line. That's sad. So just I somehow skipped making the ball. So I hope it's not very difficult. You can make it, I guess. <laughs> 